Hey guys, it's Liv. As you can see, my background is a little bit different, and that's just because we are actually on a little trip to PEI, Prince Edward Island, um, which is in Canada, for those of you who don't know. We're staying at like a little beach house cottage thing, and I just realized my voice sounds sick, and <laughs> I don't really know why. I got the idea for this video from my friend Savannah, who I recently just did a video collaboration with, and I'll put all her information in the description box. You should definitely go check out her channel, but she's been doing 25 Pinterest DIYs. So what I'm doing today is 10 vegan breakfast recipes that you have to try that I found on Pinterest. Vegan s'mores oatmeal. <laughs> I tried not to find too many oatmeals, but like when you have stuff like this, how can you not share it with the world, you know what I'm saying? There's not really too much to say except if you are the kind of person that likes having chocolate for breakfast and if you ever wanna like treat yourself first thing in the morning, I think this is your recipe. <laughs> Spicy tofu scramble. And here they just put it on some toast which is like a really cute way of presenting it. It's really high in protein and it's low in fat and low in cholesterol. So, you know, win-win. Vegan no bowl blender muffins. These muffins I decided to put on here because all you have to do is throw everything into a blender, blend it up, pour it into the muffin tins, and put it in the oven. So they're really easy. They look incredible. Like I love the sort of crisp top and the really soft inside um, for muffins. So yeah, definitely go make these. They look healthy and easy and most importantly vegan. Granola cups. I've seen these done before, but I hadn't come across a vegan recipe, so this is really exciting. Um, these cups, I think, you could easily just bake them and have them either in the freezer or fridge or whatever, just like have them out, and then in the morning just grab one, fill it up with a vegan yogurt or just put some fruit in it or whatever, um, and take it with you. And yeah, I just think they're really cute breakfast hash bowl. This is a hot for food recipe so obviously it's going to be amazing. Doing potatoes with the tofu and then like a homemade salsa is seriously just next level. Cinnamon roll oatmeal. I am personally a huge fan of using cinnamon in my oatmeal. So this recipe <laughs> looks absolutely incredible and I think it's actually called like cinnamon roll batter oatmeal but you know you get the idea. Breakfast burritos. So I chose this recipe because it's actually quite a bit different from the normal burrito, like breakfast burrito recipes that I've seen because a lot of the ones I've seen have a base of like tofu scramble. And I liked that this one was actually like a real burrito with beans and rice, but it also had potatoes. This recipe is a reprint from the Minimalist Baker cookbook and it's like legal and everything. They had permission to reprint it. So it's kind of a cool sneak peek. If you were thinking about purchasing their book, you can try out this recipe and kind of get a feel for what it's going to be like. I just think that this one looks really different from the normal breakfast burritos that I always come across. So yeah, definitely give this one a try. PB and J chia pudding. If you are getting tired of bread or just like taking sandwiches with you all the time, but you love peanut butter and jelly, this is such a good option. Chia seed pudding is really filling and it's a super easy like super portable snack so you can make it and leave it overnight and then just grab it first thing in the morning this recipe just looks amazing it's by minimalist baker and all of the recipes are amazing i've never come across one that i didn't like southwest avocado toast so i think everybody knows about avocado toast but this one is just a little bit different with the addition of some onions and some cilantro also you could add some like peach or mango to this and make it kind of like a sweet version be so good vegan buttermilk pancakes and the way that they get the pancakes to look this thick and fluffy is they use like a circle cookie cutter and they just fill it up and it keeps the pancake from spreading out so much you might want to make these you know on a day when you have a bit more time like on a weekend or something and I definitely suggest getting the cookie cutter to do it because it is a total game changer. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope it was helpful. All the recipes will be linked below. Let me know if you like this type of video because I have a lot of ideas for videos similar to this. I'm gonna be here at the cottage for the whole week so you'll see two more videos from me um, from this location. Well 
not this exact location probably I'll be like out and around but yeah you'll see some more videos from me from here and I'll probably be posting a lot of pictures of the meals that I'm eating while I'm here um, because we're in a place that has like a lot of really good local produce and stuff um, I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you guys next time <laughs>